So my name's, my name's Jess, Jess Burr. I've worked in PR for a number of years now. I started straight out of the London College of Communications. I went and joined a PR agency called Hill and Knowlton. Um, and I spent about six years there doing international PR. And then about 18 months ago, I joined another PR agency called the Red Consultancy, which is where I am now. Um, and I'm an account director there. I work across a number of different brands specialising in corporate communications. So work on sort of big brands in the UK, everything from John Lewis through to Centre Parks, Coca-Cola, Molson Coors, big, big beer band, brand for Carling. Um, and I've been there for about 18 months. Yeah, sure. So I, I specialise in, in PR and crisis communications and I suppose more broadly look at corporate communications as well and how, how they all work together as, as kind of units because, you know, the corporate communications world is quite a big world. It differs quite vastly from consumer communications where actually you're just always talking about perhaps brands and how you can engage with the consumer on the street. Corporate communications has to take a step back and actually look at the bigger picture and does a lot about sort of strategy and how you can build up a reputation for a company and that's always been an element that's quite interesting for me and is what I've been trying to get across in terms of the, the lectures that I do with, with yourselves in terms of helping you understand that world of communications and how you can build up the reputation for a brand and actually do a strategy that fits together with a number of other different specialisms such as consumer communications. I've tried to, to make it very interactive for you all. I think it, it, in terms of how I've set up the, the lectures, I've tried to, I guess, I mean, I've been giving everybody live briefs, so sort of helping you understand in terms of the corporate communications or helping you understand how fast-paced it is, but how actually sometimes you do need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture and actually start right back from the strategy in terms of really understanding that kind of overarching message because that kind of holds everything together. So I suppose in terms of how I'd describe the kind of the term and how it should all fit together, it is sort of helping you take a look at the bigger picture, it's still being creative day to day in terms of tactically how you can engineer some of those ideas, um, but then also very much taking a bigger look at how that everything sort of fits together and on a day to day level, how you as a team within an agency would need to work together to utilise your key skills. Yeah, well, they were, they were both live briefs for me. So, I mean, the, the ICE brief was one that I worked on myself a couple of years ago. Um, and obviously, ICE as a brand has developed a little bit over the last couple of years. So that was quite an interesting, quite an interesting brief, I think, for me in terms of sort of seeing how some of you had quite similar ideas to perhaps I did two years ago when I was given that brief. And the Carling brief, obviously, that's one that we've been working on recently as well, actually, within our agency in, in terms of actually launching cider, Carling cider to the market. So again, you know, it's been very interesting to kind of see how actually as a team of individuals, you all, you all work very creatively and all have very good and inspired ideas, but actually helping you take that step back and developing the strategy. Actually, a lot of it fits together very similarly to, to how we've been developing them ourselves in the agency at Red. Hard work, ambition, personality. There's a lot to be said for personality in PR. I think you know you need to to understand PR is all about communications and how you engage with public. So actually, I think you know you need to be a friendly, hardworking person. You need to have a lot of ambition. It's all about networking. But but first and foremost, I think you know you're working with people. You know, day in day out, PR is about working with people. So you just have to. Make sure that you've always got that smile on, that you're always going out there and you're engaging and you're showing the world the best side of you because actually that's what you're doing in the, in the real world as well. You know, what you're doing for a client, you're showing the best side of their brand. So I think, you know, first and foremost, you need to learn to PR yourself and, and put on that best face and go out there with a bit of hard work and determination. Yeah, d d always challenge yourself, I think. Always challenge your ideas and don't give up on ideas. I think there's a lot to be said for gut instinct. And actually what I've seen with all the teams, actually, over, over the, the last few terms is actually the initial ideas that you come up with, those initial gut feelings, that instinct that you get about an idea that gets you excited, work with that. 
because actually I think as, as you kind of work through ideas, sometimes they don't always work out, sometimes like logistics, and when you're actually thinking about the planning, actually sometimes an idea can become quite daunting, but don't give up on it because actually I think there's a lot that can be said for that kind of initial idea that gets you excited. If it's getting you excited, there's a chance it would get other people on the street excited as well. So really work with that idea and make it happen. Don't be put off by the, the challenges and the hurdles that you sometimes come across as, as you go through that process.